You'll need an iPad and Apple Pencil. If you don't have an iPad, search Procreate iPad Models. Go to the Procreate FAQ to see which iPads support Procreate. Personally, I use the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Ensure your iPad and pencil are fully charged. Connect your Apple Pencil to the iPad and pair it through Bluetooth. Search for Procreate in the App Store and download it to your iPad. From the gallery, tap the plus icon at the top right, and then tap the rectangle icon. Under Dimensions, you can set the width and the height. I'm setting it to 8.5 by 11 inches, but choose the dimension that makes sense for your project. Make sure the DPI is set at 300. This will ensure high resolution. Choose the color profile. RGB is for digital, CMYK is for print, but I choose this setting here. Under time-lapse settings, I like to do 4K and lossless for high quality video replays. Lastly, you can rename the canvas. And when you're done, tap create. Tap the paintbrush icon to open the brush library. You can import custom brushes for fashion sketching. For example, stitching, zipper, brushes, buttons. You can import figures or even flat templates. If you're taking my course, it includes a combination of these fashion brushes. To import new brush libraries, tap the plus icon, then tap on import, locate the file on your iPad, and select the brush set file. The imported brush set will be at the top of the brush library. Use layers to organize elements of your sketch. This makes it easier to make non-destructive edits. For example, I have the croquis, the draft, the final sketch, and the shading in all separate layers. To draw symmetrical flat sketches, turn on the drawing guide. Go to Actions, Canvas, toggle on Drawing Guide, and then Edit Drawing Guide. Select Symmetry, and then under Options, select Vertical and make sure Assisted Drawing is toggled on. Lastly, move the guide so it's in the center of your croquis, then tap Done. By tapping on the layer, you can select Drawing Assist to turn the drawing guide on and off. If you draw wobbly lines, you can make them smoother by going to Actions, Preferences, Pressure and Smoothing, and turning Stabilization up. Just remember to turn Stabilization off when you're done. Procreate has this feature called Quick Shape, which helps give you more control over your lines. To use Quick Shape, draw and hold the pencil on the screen. This will give you options to adjust by dragging the blue transform nodes. I'm drawing, holding my pencil on the screen, tapping to change my shape, and then dragging these blue circles for more control. With a selection tool, you can select areas of your sketch and go to actions, cut and paste those elements. And from here, using the transform tool, you can warp and make proportional adjustments. The transform tool has a variety of options. There's warp, which acts like a mesh. And there's also freeform, where you can stretch your sketch without preserving the original proportion. To add colors to your sketches, you want to make sure when you draw your outline, there's no holes. Tap on the layer and select Reference. Then add a new layer. Drag the color onto your sketch. It will respect the inked lines of the previous layer. But you can see we can't see our lines, so we have to change this layer into Multiply. That way it's transparent and we can see everything underneath. On a new layer, we can make texture and print effects by turning that layer into a clipping mask it will clip to the layer underneath. Lastly, go to Actions and Share to export your artwork. 
Under video, you can watch a time-lapse replay of your sketch, which you also have the ability to share and export. I'll leave a link to download this checklist. It lists each step discussed in this video and also includes links to learn more about Procreate features. I'll also leave a link to my seven day course where you'll learn everything you need to know for fashion sketching in Procreate in step-by-step -step tutorials.